Hello and welcome back to Rick's Kits. We've got uh, part two of this uh, 1 6 Dragon World Bike. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been up to just to modify it slightly um, and make it look a little bit more like the original bike. Um, as in the previous video, these uh, giant bits of plastic there. They're a nightmare to get in there. I gave up um, trying to get that in there. So basically what I did to get this one in is I cut most of that plastic away. And that's what I'm going to do on that. Just to, uh, just to get it in there. Um, otherwise you need a shoe on to get them in. <laughs> Seriously, they're, they're not going to go in properly. So I've still got this one, still got this one to do. Um, and then somehow I've got to try and get that back out so I can paint it. Um, so that's with that. Now, as far as the fuel um, line and stuff is concerned, I have attached a little bit of round. I'm going to focus. There you go. A little bit of round rod in the top of there. Um, that's for the accelerator. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna wire gonna wire th this from the handlebar on this side, which is the roll. Uh, this is the clutch on this side, and that will be wired into the machine. So we're gonna go from there. Um, I come all the way down to all the way down to here. So then we've we'll have that wired up, coming up to the throttle. That serves its purpose for that. I'm going to need that in again. Um, then when we've got this part of the fuel pump. Which will go on there and into the side of the first tank. Um, what I'm going to need to do is make this hole, a tiny little hole there. I've made a hole in this side, put a bit of rod in. Okay. Um, and that's going to be the feeder fuel line from the other tank because it's dual tanks so that's going to come over and go in there um, but I'm going to have a I'm going to have this length of rod obviously I'm going to cut that down it looks stupid otherwise but I'm going to put a sleeve black sleeve over the top to represent the um, heat resistant cable so the thing doesn't blow up and that'll go from that side of the tank into this on that side of the tank so that's what's in progress on that then again using um this line what i have done here apart from tie it in a knot on that end is you might you can just get it in the light where it focus did have it come on no. There you go. There's a little bit of braided metal line there, or a bit of metal wire. Um, that come that will come from the um, the clutch side 
of the handlebar from that lever, uh, it will pass under under the unit here, and then it's going to attach. In there, can you see it? It's going to attach it just here to represent the clutch cable from the handlebar. So that will be going on, and then one last thing I've got the line here glued in that side of the unit which I think is a bit silly yet because I haven't painted it and that's going to go onto the old sparky I think what I might do is I will cut that down cut that down a little bit and very similar to what I've done on the other piece with that metal braid metal braided wire I will get a piece of that put in there and that will wrap around the spark plug on here so that's where we're at uh, hopefully when I come back I've got something to show or maybe even the finished item Thanks. I'll see you soon bye for now hey welcome back so been busy with the paint, get it all walled together. So it's a nice green colour. Not the uh, proper green colour. It should be a lot darker than this. This is um this is uh, NATO green unfortunately. Um I didn't have any of the, of the dark green. But it's all painted up. Uh some bits I've got to pick out on here so I'll paint the spark plug white. Um, the extra fuel line that goes down through there. Uh, I've got to paint that up silver. It comes out here, and then I've got to make the attachment using the um, tubing that I'm going to use to put over the top to connect that to the fuel system. Um, then I've got to go round and uh, attach the clutch line and the throttle to, from there to here and the throttle from there to the top of the um, oh my god, the fuel system with the small carburetor so that's where we are with that uh, the exhaust I need to do something with that because obviously it's not going to be it's not going to stay green when it's used it's going to end up burning all the paint off so got to get that done um, the seat is done just need to make to glue it together that's semi gloss black. We've got to do the handlebars on here. Uh, wheels are in. Mighty pain in the bum they were to get in, but they're in. Um, got to paint this cog a different colour. And then, uh, finally, we've got to do the brass on the fuel system. And then I can put it together. So, see you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. Here she is. Uh, all completed. Now, I'm going to say the only thing I didn't really like about this kit is them wheels, the rims, things going in. Goddamn nightmare. So, as I said before, I, I, I cut them down to fit, make them fit. It was the easiest option for me. Um, I've got arthritis in my hands, and the last thing 
what I'm trying to do is, is seize my fingers up trying to get the things in so um, even after cutting down it, it uh, was still a bit of a nightmare um, so we've got so what did I do um, I'll bring it up try and get it as close to the camera as possible we've got the clutch wire attached down here comes up to the handlebar we've got the throttle comes down into the top of the fuel system the carburetor um, turn it this way around we've got the fuel line from the second tank going through to the fuel system and we've got the spark plug wire going through to I'm assuming it's the generator or, or whatever it is nowadays it would be an, an alternator uh, the wires on for the braking system this doesn't move unfortunately it would have been nice but it doesn't move um, I've made made it so the wheels don't actually move as well because I don't want any, any of this stuff to do is to roll off the shelf uh, I went into the PE and pulled out a piece of PE and made a small uh, little brass bracket to hold hold that wire in place there so it didn't look uncomfortable this was a bit this is a bit weird unfortunately this one um, I like it, it's good. Um, I can't move the seat up and down the way it should do because this rod on the seat doesn't quite fit into the tubing because you're supposed to be able to collapse the bikes down to into, into storage as it would be inside the contain the drop pod container that it comes into but the front end does uh, collapse up and uh, it moves them down in collapses down I'm not going to demonstrate it because dragon stuff can be a little bit finicky and break but oh yeah there she is the one six dragon dragon well bike doesn't have a stand that's the unfortunate thing on this so you can't actually display it standing it has to has to lie on its side but yeah i'm pleased with the result another one ticked off just like i say it's just unfortunate certain things were not quite as they seem to be um tiny little bit of weather in, uh, well i say weather in a, a bit of wear on there so there you go thanks for watching thank you to all my subscribers i hold a new appreciate you all if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this subscribe it's free it doesn't cost you anything I'll see you in the next one. Have a good rest of the week. See you soon. Take care.